Welcome to today's lesson where we talk about getting started as a trombone player. My name is Sean Bell. I'm going to be your instructor today. Today we are talking about how you use your air. Um, our air is our fuel for us as brass players and we've got to make sure it's working in the right way so that playing will be easy and be really enjoyable. Okay, the most important thing for us to think about how our air works is that it needs to be relaxed. Uh, we don't want to try too hard to make our air work. Our body knows how to breathe, surprisingly enough, and we want to connect with that natural way of breathing. So some things we might want to think about um, that are some warning signs we might not be so relaxed is if our shoulders rise too much, if our chest sticks way out when we take a breath, um, if we feel a lot of tension in this middle chunk of our body, those are all signs that maybe our breath is not working the way it should. Some things we do want to look out for is maybe a little bit of expansion here in your core, right below your rib cage, right above your belly button. You have a muscle that's called the diaphragm that lives there. We want to connect with that in order to take some good breaths as brass, brass players. Let's try a few breaths in to see if we can get this nice relaxed style of breathing. Great, now you see I didn't really try too hard on either of those breaths, they just felt nice and easy. That's what's really gonna to lead to success. Okay, our next step is to figure out what we do when we're breathing out. What I want you to do here is take your hand and put it at about six inches in front of your face. Now first we're gonna breathe out and we are going to create air that is warm like we were trying to fog up a window. Now we're gonna create a more focused air stream that really feels like it is focused right on our palm, almost like we're trying to blow out a candle that is on the other side of our hand. Cool, so you might have noticed that that second breath was a lot cooler than our first breath. That's a little more the type of air that we wanna think about for playing a brass instrument. That's what's gonna be effective and make playing the most efficient. Okay, we've got our air going in nice and relaxed. We've got our air out going nice and focused and a little bit faster. Um, now let's talk about how we form up our lips, our embouchure muscles to create the right airway um, so that we can play really well. Uh, for this exercise, you're gonna need a pencil and we're gonna use the eraser end. Um, we're gonna put this in between our lips to help us form the airway. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start by saying the word ah, and then you're going to shift with the pencil in between your lips to saying the word mmm. So check this out. Um, one more time, I'm sealing my lips around that eraser. Um, now, once we get to a good mmm where our lips are sealed around the eraser, we're gonna blow our air out and then remove the pencil and see if we can keep that nice open airway that that round pencil eraser leaves. Um, Now, if we get rid of our um and just worry about our air, it might look like this. That is the type of embouchure we wanna think about for playing any brass instrument. Our chin is probably a little bit flat. Our corners are a little bit engaged. None of this is too dramatic. I don't have a super, super tight embouchure. Like I'm really trying to close my lips together. That is gonna to lead to not such a great sound. We should always have that opening that this eraser left. All right, hopefully that gives you some good information about how to get started on how we use our air. It is the most important thing for us as brass players. Please tune in to the next lesson. Hit that subscribe button if you're finding these lessons to be really informative. We'll talk about buzzing and getting the first notes going on the trombone.